But you may be wondering then, let's say we want to analyze the next image with exactly the same parameters. And this is where it's possible. It's maybe not quite as easy as you might like, but it is possible. And it takes advantage of this workflow tab again. So down at the bottom, there is a button create script. And beside it, there is a button create workflow. I'm going to have to move my window so that you can see it. And so create script will create a script which replicates all of the stuff that we did. Create workflow will give us just basically a list of all of the steps. So they correspond to one another. But the important thing is that one way or another, we need to generate a script which will replicate our analysis, but which doesn't contain a lot of the, the unnecessary parameter optimization stuff. So two ways we can do it is we can press create workflow. We can select all of the times we ran positive cell detection and didn't want it. Right click, remove selected items. See, we ran smoothing twice, but we didn't actually use any of the features. So we can, we can still do the calculations if we want, and we certainly would need to if we use them in the classifier, but because we didn't, we can actually remove the smooth features as well. I do want to check that what it is logged here is the modified color deconvolution stains, but because we named them, that information is there. So I can see it set the image type, it set the stains properly. We ran the positive cell detection, we smoothed the measurements, and then we ran a classifier. So I can create a script then for this entire thing from this workflow. So I press create workflow, deleted all the lines I didn't want, and then I made a script. The other way to do it naturally would be to create the script and then just delete the lines from in here. So it doesn't really matter which approach you take. You should end up then with a script which is relatively clean. And if you have multiple images, you can say run, run for project, bring your images over, and then this will run through all of your images in your project that you've selected and then apply this script.